You hear that? That was doodle tongue. Yeah. Not a straight tongue? No, it was not a straight tongue. And the fact is, it was Teagarden who, when listening to Arthur Pryor, realized the classical double tonguing style mm-hmm. was appropriate to move around. But it was the wrong feel, and Teagarden didn't like the concert band music. He liked going to the black tents outside of town uh-huh. where they would have the gospel meetings and hear some real music from the ground <laughs> up. And that's what he loved. And so he took two Tuku, 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 tuku. And he changed the T to D and the K to G and went duga, 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 duga. Well, that's fascinating. I didn't know that Arthur Pryor was an influence on Jack. There were no trombone recordings in those days. There was only one. And guess what? It was Arthur Pryor. So 